Thanks, Mr. President. Mr. President, in recent times we've heard much of the challenges facing the west coast of Tasmania in terms of mine closures and the tragic loss of life of three mine workers and a significant loss of employment. These events have challenged this community in many ways and the negative impact on the community has been very real. It is therefore perhaps even more important to acknowledge and note some of the really positive aspects of the west coast community beyond the grandeur of the mountains, forests, rivers and powerful ocean. Over the last 10 years or so, the West Coast has become a significant arts and culture centre for Tasmania, from the amazing and highly successful Queenstown Heritage and Arts Festival that is currently undergoing organisational and regional renewal, spearheaded by the, a reimagined re three festival sequence titled The Unconformity, to the ongoing commitment and to, the, and to an involvement in the arts um, and work of work of renowned Australian printmaker Raymond Arnold and his partner Helen Dem Dem Demzik. Raymond and Helena have worked together at LARC since it was established by Raymond in 2006. LARC, which is an acronym for Landscape Art Research Queenstown, was established as an arts, artist's residency program to foster Raymond's own art practice and to nurture that of others in response to the natural and heritage values inherent in the remoteness and ruggedness of this rich historical region. As a non-profit community development business fostering connections, sense of place and artistic inventions, LARC hosts art exhibitions, workshops and artist residencies in Queenstown and within a context of sometimes compelling natural and cultural values. It hosts top international exhibitions and artist residences in a town where some may suggest would be the last place you'd expect to find them. I know that Raymond takes the view that community is important and heritage is crucial. Mr President, it's now come time for LARC to be having its last LARC. LARC is, as I said, is the Landscape Art and, and Research Queenstown. In the decade between setup and the close of LARC and imminent rebirth in its next iteration, LARC has, been, has brought a focus to the Western region through connections to community, cultural product and both the, in both the heritage and natural values inherent in the region. Feedback and experience tells us that we are making some real progress in this. There is a growing body of evidence that demonstrates the positive impact on health and wellbeing and that exposure to and engagement with the arts um, has on individuals and on communities. LARC has hosted eight funded international artist residences, residencies, nine unfunded international residencies, 18 national and Tasmanian residencies, staged 41 exhibitions, managed 15 art workshops, mentored local artists and young students, and welcomed many visitors to its gallery for exhibition openings, artist talks, art industry nights and casual visits. Mr President, Raymond Arnold's work honours the endeavours of Henry Hellyer, colonial surveyor for the VDL, also William Pignew, I think that's how you pronounce his name, one of the first artists born in the colony, and whose passion for romantic landscapes brought him to this area. Picano, Pierre. Raymond's work also engages with the sense of time and place seen in this connection and the technical mastery evidence in, its, in his etchings, prints and paintings. His work is profound and infiltrates the psyche of the rugged, isolated mining towns that he has established such a connection with. By establishing the residency program at LARC, he has been able to share this wilderness and space with others. The exhibition space within LARC showcased some of the creative results of the programs and has changed the face of Queenstown into a vibrant and thoughtful community which appreciates the complexity of its past, present and future. Raymond Arnold won the prestigious Glover Prize in 2007 with his, achie with his achievement shared by the town. He has an open and inclusive personality and a reputation for high quality and rigorous practices. The West Coast is surely an artistic frontier but LARC is as LARC is linking regional Western Tasmania with the rest of the world. Raymond has found a huge sense of purpose in his life in Queenstown where he can appreciate the beauty of this and the surrounding wilderness and has the opportunity to connect with the environment in a unique and creative way. He first came to Queenstown in the early 1980s when he participated in the blockade against damming the Gordon below Franklin and after awakening to its beauty, history and philosophy of the landscape, he visits this re region regularly to cycle, walk and paint. Mr President, I wish to acknowledge and thank Raymond on behalf of all Tasmanians, particularly West Coasters, as we've all benefited enormously from his quiet, humble and inspirational presence in and dedication to Tasmania and the West Coast particularly. 
Mr President, I wish Raymond and Helena all the very best in their next West Coast venture as they bring a new, another dream to life. That dream is to develop a BB and b which is a bed and breakfast for bicycle tourists to Queenstown and whatever other amazing things they decide to do.